funny how from someone who didn't as much as dance in front of anyone ended up presenting a self-thought choreography that won her a national pageant. My name is Poeta Awujo. People always tell me how blessed I am to be able to wear so many hats. But for everything I am able to do, from nursing, to pageantry, from being a pilot, to creating content, it all hasn't always come so naturally to me. There are particular moments in my life that have helped me to be resilient in achieving my dreams. I grew up in a house full of boys with my mom as the only female influence around me. I basically wanted to do everything my brothers did, from playing football, to climbing trees, to cutting my hair. I enjoyed doing boy stuff. When I turned 11, I moved to a new secondary school. And I had a tough time fitting in with other girls because I felt slightly different from them. They were so girly and I was on the other hand so boyish. I made a couple of new friends and my new friends were bond over dancing. I never used to dance with them. I would just stay in sidelines, staring and cheering them on. I didn't dance because I thought I couldn't dance and I was too ashamed or too shy to even try. So I decided I was going to learn how to dance. Every day I would go home and I would dance in front of my mirror for hours. And I would come back to school and pretend like I couldn't dance. This went on for about a year until I finally decided, okay, I was going to show people that I can dance. <laughs> or would I say until I was brave enough to dance in front of a crowd. So in senior secondary school, my first year, at the school annual social event, I danced in front of the crowd and the assembly of students were cheering me on and I felt so motivated and it really inspired me to keep dancing. So every year at social events, I would dance or mime as they used to call it, I would mime with my friends, mime solo and people would cheer me on. I danced so much that in my senior secondary school year two, when it was time to select a social prefect, they picked me as the assistant social prefect. And in my final year in senior secondary school three, I got the best dancer award amongst many others. In my gap year, I learned so much about being feminine. I would go on modeling gigs, learn so much about courtesy, and I carried this on until uni. So in my first year in uni, I represented my school in a national university pageant. And I choreographed a dance, which I presented as my talent. And this earned me the crown. It's funny how from someone who didn't as much as dance in front of anyone, ended up presenting a self-thought choreography that won her a national pageant. There's an old age debate as to whether talent is as a result of nature and nurture. Whilst everything I have done may come naturally to some people, that moment taught me that whatever I set my mind to accomplish, as long as I put in the work and time, to develop competence. There is no limit to what I can learn. This philosophy is how I've been able to play in different fields, from a medical career to being a creative and innovation.
evidence, sometimes it's evidence that you can. And that evidence comes from trying. So if you have something that you've always wanted to do, why don't you dive in? Focus on your goals, be blind and deaf to distractions, and always aspire to obtain the optimum level of competence. Hey sis, could you relate to this story? Stand a chance to win some amazing prizes and have your story featured by submitting an audio recording, telling us about a moment in your life you lost self-confidence, regained it, and what you learned in the process. Visit www.confidentdarling.com for more details on how to enter and share your moment story. Hello, my name is Poeda Awujo. I have just shared my moment and I hope it inspires you to own yours.